Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask code as a side. So today's question is convert array into zigzag fashion. We are going to discuss this question in the video. So the question says that you haven't given an array. The array contains all the distinct elements. All the elements here are distinct, right? Now you want to rearrange the array such that it looks something like this. The 0th element that is the element on the index 0 is less than element on the first index which is greater than array in second and then the continue series right that is array 3 will be gre less, uh, greater than array 2 but will be less than array 4 etc etc right so how should i approach this problem how should i solve this problem now the problem is actually given to be as easy on the gfg so we will be doing that only right what i will do is now if i am at this position if i am at this position right what are my indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 just Take a look at the next element. For 0, I want to take two elements, 4 and 3. Now, what do I want as a relation? I want that 0th element should be less than array 1. Is that so? No, 4 is not less than 3. 4 is greater than 3. So, what do we do? We just swap them. So, array becomes 3, 4, 7, 8, 6, 2, 1. Right? After that, I move to the next index. I come here. I see what are the elements, 4 and 7. But I want the relation array 1 should be greater than that is 4 should be greater than 7 it is not so reverse them 3 7 4 now you might say that after swapping it may be possible that this relation that uh, the first relation of this gets tampered but that is not possible why is not is not that possible why because 7 is greater than 4 and we wanted an element greater than 3 so if 4 is greater than 3 and 7 is greater than 4 then 7 will always be greater than 3 that is I am saying if this condition holds and if this condition holds then this condition is transitively always going to hold right so 374 I get as an swapped operation right I move to here I move to here now I want the relation 4 to 8 I want the relation to be same 4 should be less than 8 okay I will move here 8 6 8 should be greater than 6 so I will move along 6 should be less, less than 2 6 should be less than 2 so after I see 6 2 I will change it to 2 comma 6 so 3 7 4 8 2 6 it is now right now 6 comma 1 6 comma 1 uh, 2 comma 6 and then 6 comma 1 it is also correct so i will not do anything now i will not traverse this element because this is the last element and it cannot be paired up with the next element so my answer array would look something like 3 7 4 8 2 6 8 2 6 now just have to see where we have to use the this operator where, where we have to use the this operator so you can see in the case of 0 and 1 matching, we are using this operator. In the case of 1 and 2 matching, we are using this operator. So what I what I am doing is at the index, whenever my index is even, I have to satisfy this, this inequality. Whenever my index is odd, I have to satisfy this inequality, right? So easy question, easy solution. For i equals to 0 up till not n minus 1, it is n minus 2 today, right? If i percentile 2 equals to equals to 0 and if array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 right in that case i will have to change the inequality to swap swap array of i array of i plus 1 also equality cannot exist any time because it has been given that the array contains distinct elements right after swapping this if has been finished else if it is an odd position this change the same quality sign. If array of i is less than array of i plus 1, then swap. Swap array of i with array of i plus 1. Right? This will give you the answer. The for loop ends and you can simply return. Right? Okay. So, what is the time complexity? It is O of n minus 2. Right? What is the space complexity? It is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. We are not using any extra space. Okay? So, O of n time complexity and O of 1 space complexity as required in the expected time and space complexity, right? So, let us move to the solution. Let us move to the code now. Alright guys, so here is the coding section. But before starting with the code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me. I am already I'm able to see that only 21% of you have subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe because it really motivates me, right? So, moving on. What I will do? For n time going from 0 up till less than n minus 1 i plus plus. If i percentile 2 equals to equal to 0 and if array of i is less than array of is greater than sorry is greater than is greater than array of i plus 1 in that case swap 
swap array of i with array of i plus 1. Moving on, for the else case, only the inequality will change, so I will just copy it down, control V, and I will change the inequality to this, right? So after this, what will happen? I will just, say after the for loop, I will just simply return to mark the ending of the function, and let us try to compile and run it. It should run fine, I guess, should not give any error. It is running fine, let us try it for submit as well. Okay, running and okay, getting accepted. Thank you for watching and we'll meet again tomorrow. Till then, stay tuned, keep watching, keep coding and thank you, have a nice day.